Please welcome to the stage, Doug and Tia Wood. basis we had people they surrounded us and we just started 
getting out there and intentionally living every day. So you say, what does that mean? I'm saying I wake up in the morning, even when I don't feel like it, even when I'm not inspired, even when we're not inspired, we go out because we know what we have is so amazing. It's given us the freedom to drive together to take our girls to school in the morning, to see Carl and Molly in the carpool lane dropping off their daughter at school in the morning. You guys, this is amazing. And I realized if I didn't push past my fears and walk in freedom and tell myself in the mirror every morning, even when I didn't feel like it, I have a purpose. Somebody needs me today. Who's on my heart? Oh, I need to pick up the phone, call them. I need to text message them get out there and do it. So how do you go out and connect with people? It's just doing it on a daily basis, loving on people. And, you know, Doug, that's what we've done each and every day. Absolutely. And, you know, just to back up the story real quick, Tina said something that forever changed my life. See, we, we hit a season, which I, I didn't tell you about, right after convention that year, where we kind of got back into our own stuff. You know what your own yep. stuff is? You start oscillating. You start going backwards, you get out of the jacuzzi experience. And guess what, guys? We put some weight back on that fall. It was January, we were writing off some goals of 2011, and Tia grabbed me by the hand, and she looked me in the eyes and said, Doug, if we don't get out of our own way, we are holding thousands of people back because someone is depending on us to break through and get healthy. And I'm telling you right now, guys, all 3,000 of you, someone is depending on you getting healthy. If you're like us, this whole weekend you're going, I wish so-and-so was here. I wish so-and-so was here. And you're thinking of these people that, oh my goodness, if I would have just tried a little harder to have them come with me. Right now, think of them. Write them down. As soon as I'm done, shoot them a text message. Say, I love you. I, I can't wait to get home and hang out. I want to hang out this week. And begin to start that process because the process starts this year. You want to have a team of 20 with you next year? It starts today. It doesn't start two weeks before convention next year. And that's what we did. We left that convention. Sure, in 2011, we finally made that official decision where we set our non-negotiables. Our non-negotiables for us was we're going to get really clear in our finances. For one, God is first in our, our life, so we chose to tithe. Ten percent of our income was going to go to our tithe. That was number one. Then our family, well, and our, and, and our faith. And just like the teachers talked about, but we set time apart for our girls and then after that, Take Shape of Life got scheduled next. You're like, well, Doug, you're, you're saying you didn't watch the Kardashians or, or American Idol? No! Are you kidding me? Guess what? There'll be another season that's on reruns. For that season, I can turn off the TV, right? Yeah. You can turn off the TV and focus on what matters. Dr. Ray just said earlier, you know what? You have 12 hours in the day. You're sick and tired. You're on your way home. All you want to do is sleep. Veg out. Do whatever. No, those are the times, Tia, that we worked the business, didn't we? We did. I guess we kind of worked it when we were uncomfortable. And we stopped making our excuses why we couldn't and found a reason why we could. We, we didn't use our kids as an excuse anymore um, why we couldn't go to training. We got, we got uncomfortable, you guys, every day. I mean, we had a nanny who didn't have a home uh, at the time. We invited her to come into our home. She helped us with childcare for a season. We invited her into our home. She took care of the kids, so we could devote some time to the business and have, have her available for the training. So it took us getting uncomfortable where, you know, it wasn't what we had picked, but we chose it for a season. And um, it's amazing to see those small daily things that we chose to make those secondary choices and how it's created the life that we have today. Absolutely. You know, throughout that process, we began to create a bio network of support around us. We started realizing that, you know, we needed to put our own protection bubble around us. So you know what we did? We scheduled our life busy. We started re recognizing our oscillating cycles. So guess what? I know two weeks from right now, I might have a bad day. You might have an argument with your spouse. Of course, no one here ever has an argument with their spouse. <laughs> right? And so what do you do during those times? Well, setting in advance, a, a really, a bio network of support. So you know why half the reason, you know, our team, and now we fill our house on a weekly basis with 30 health coaches, and we train and we inspire and we, we just get together and have what you just saw on the screen. But the reason we do that half the time is for us. Because guess what? When you're connected in this environment, 
it goes with you and it goes beyond you. So you want to take convention with you? Go start it in your home. Go start it in your house and then guess what? It'll move to a hotel. Then it will move to somewhere else and it will get bigger and bigger because you made the decision to plant your feet. I want to end with this. A year and a half ago, right after we hit global, we had been very lean and very good with our finances. We sold our house in Hills Rural Oregon. And uh, we were looking for a place uh, that had, was a little bit bigger. Um, we didn't know where we wanted to move, but we knew that we needed to kind of finish getting lean. We wanted to be out of debt officially, so we sold our house, okay? So we, we literally wanted to get lean. We found a house up on a hill about 20 minutes away across town, and it was too big. T and I were in a huge, I will say, Take Shape Life will create communication. Yes, it will. Yeah. Uh, if you want to sweep things under the rug, you can, but uh, you'll be forced to kind of work, work together. And what happened was we got this house, and you know, Tia looked at me and said, Doug, this house is perfect. And I was like, it's too big. It's, at the time, it was, I thought it was too expensive for what it was. It, it had an upstairs with three master bedrooms, or three bedrooms, and a whole downstairs living quarters with two master bedrooms and a bonus room. I was like, what? We do not need this. And Tia was like, this just feels right. I said, who's going to live down there? It's ridiculous. Two weeks later, my sister, who struggled with alcohol and things um, and been kicked out of multiple rehabs, was pretty much going on the streets. And I gave Jen, when she came in, I gave her condition that if she was to advance, we can take it two weeks by two weeks. My sister and her daughter moved in because no rehab facility would take her. And I didn't realize that that was part of our dream from early on, that I wanted to set up a safe house. And Tina wanted to set up a safe house for people to come and grow and advance. And throughout that process, my sister moved in, and uh, that one room downstairs happened to be for her. And a year and a half later, no rehab, no anything facility that she's constantly getting kicked out of could ever be what she needed at that time and what we needed. She came into our life one and a half years today. She is sober and she's right here with me. <laughs> Take Shape for Life, providing the income that Tita felt right about getting that house. My sister, a year and a half later, is not only sober, but she is works as Tia's and I's assistant, and she just launched a ministry called Unleashing Breakthrough because now she helps people walk through the complete journey of from, from being arrested all the way to getting sober. And that's what Take Shape for Life can do. Guess what, Dr. Ray? I am all in. Woo! 